ultimate goal is to be one of the best sprinters in history you know my name up there with Michael Johnson Jesse Owens Carl Lewis you know all the great all the great people out there and I feel that I can accomplish that For me, my drive back then was to conquer everything in front of me. Be relentless. Beat everybody. Win every race. And then do it again and again and again. My goal was not just to do it once, where you find a lot of athletes who are content with just doing it once and being okay with that. For me, it was more or less about doing as many times I need to do it to be considered a great. point eight. I 
as a child who never placed limits on himself. I was that kid on the side of the pool who thought he could run on water if he moved his legs fast enough. Within two years, I won six NCAA titles, two national championships. I beat my idol. I won the Olympics gold medal. I won two gold medals at the World Championship, the 100 and the 200. And after that, the blinking of an eye, it was all gone. One of the fastest men in the world may never race again. Raleigh sprinter Justin Gatlin agreed to an eight-year ban from track and field after testing positive for steroids. Shocking news from the American track and field camp involving Justin Gatlin. The doping scandal continues. But uh, why are you on top now at 33? Because I have training partners like Isaiah Young to come out here and train with me who's a young star. Long-term effect of steroids. Do you think you can benefit of this, even if you are clean now? I think it's ridiculous. And why are you asking these questions that happened a decade ago? You're not a history major. Because a lot of people don't you, believe you your story. Are you a history major? I was a history major, actually. Good. Really good. Then maybe you should go do that in, in a museum or something. There was clear pain. Um, I. I lashed out at friends, the friends that stayed around. <laughs> you know, a lot of people left my life. Now all of a sudden, he goes from the very top creme de la creme down to the pits, and he has to find a way to get himself up and out of that. And Gatlin got away brilliantly and he's ahead of the field at the moment and uh, Bolt going very and here comes Usain Bolt! Usain Bolt storming through, he takes it again, Blake gets the silver! Slightly better than Bolt, but Bolt now we're coming through, Gatlin's still heading him at this point, but here comes Usain Bolt, Gatlin's on his shoulder, Bolt wins it, Gatlin the second, and I think it may be Nesta Carter who's got the third, and 9.78, a wonderful time once again for Usain Bolt, it's not as quick as in Berlin, but 9.78 is special, slight headwind, 0.3 meters per second, and once again, Usain Bolt is the champion of the world with another magnificent display of sprinting. TMZ Sports. Are you going to yes, win? Justin, we need to hear you say, we need to guarantee I'm bringing I'm the gold to medal win. back to the U.S. of A. Yes. He just said he's going to win. I'm going to win. We oh, bring it to the oh, USA. USA. We bring it to USA. USA. To New York. We're, going, we're going on a tour all around the country with it with around my neck like a gold chain. That's what, what I'm talking about, <laughs> Justin Gallagher.
sort of start will he get? Well, certainly a tremendous start by Gatlin further out and Bolt into his drive now. Those two coming through the field now and it's Gatlin and Bolt. And who's going to win it? It's very close, but it's the great man, I think. It's Bolt who's taken it from Gatlin. The first time I ever heard the name Usain Bolt was in 2005. He was just up and coming. I raced against him in the 200 meters at the World Championships in Helsinki, and I won the medal there. And in 2007 it came around, I was away from the sport, and then I hear the time he was putting up. I was like, okay, he's pretty fast. And then all of a sudden he breaks the world record at 972 in New York. And then from there it was just obviously it was just history. Who can send Usain home? Ooh! I'm 6'1. He's 6'5. The man has been undefeated in every major championship he has ran in since 2008. How do I battle somebody who's 6'5 and has a longer stride length than me? Anybody can be beaten on any day. While he's reaching for his next step, I'm propelling myself to the next step. I think Justin has the strength and the speed, but he has to run a technically perfect race. His strength is stride length. My strength is stride power. Look at this run for Gatlin, and Gatlin is not going to take it, or Gatlin gets it! I beat him in Rome in 2013, and I remember him saying that after the press conference, I'm never going to let this happen again. And from then, I knew it was on. <laughs> amount of energy that goes through this to keep it all together all the air out it's beyond conditioning it's beyond what most humans can endure but through a process of very careful attention dedication and the fact that uh, a tremendous amount of hard work you arrive at being just a gal of the kind I dreamed about this day. I worked hard for this day. 
and it took for me to not be selfish and think about myself and to think about others to give me that fight. And that's what mattered the most. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, America. How much does this gold medal mean to you? It hasn't even sunk in yet, to be honest. You know, um, it's, it's not a big... It's very rare that I get to be on the top of the podium with you saying on the podium as well and hear the, the national anthem playing. So it's going to be a moment for me tomorrow. Um, but tonight, you know, it's still Usain Bolt's night. You know, he's done so much for the sport. To be able to push him to different levels each year, to be able to laugh with him in the, in the warm barriers, you know, I just want to pay homage to him, and that's what I do on the track. You know, he's a champion. Win or lose, he's a guy out there who's taking the sport to a different level.